welcome to the channel peace love health and happiness so i'm going to do a little reaction breakdown to game of thrones season 8 episode 3 preview um season 8 episode 2 was kind of a slower episode a lot of reunions a lot of really emotional scenes a lot of fan service and not in a bad way like brienne of Tars being knighted by jamie was absolutely fantastic a lot of these scenes coming together john finally telling danny uh, the truth and her reaction to that and how the aftermath is going to play out in the next episode amidst <laughs> the enemy, you know, the Night's King's uh, generals on on the brink of attacking Winterfell. Seeing seeing the plan that they're going to put forth to sort of use Bran as bait and have everybody sort of protect him and wait for the Night King himself to come after Bran. Why does he want Bran so much? What can he achieve once he acquires Bran? If he if he was to acquire Bran, what can he then do? I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan. I read the novel series before the show even came out. I've read the novel series probably about... Well, I've read it twice, but I, I had began a third book read, hoping that we were going to get Winds of Winter. Uh, if you're a book nerd, you know that George has notoriously... Uh, n been unable to finish wins uh the last book came out in 2011 which was the winds of i'm Win sorry <laughs> a dance with dragons and we've been waiting eight years uh so he's not a fast writer and apparently he has to write a dream of spring afterwards i do think it's unfair when people make comments chastising him i can see you you being frustrated but when you lash out and say like well he's gonna you know he's gonna pass away before before he's able to finish it i think that's kind of uh unfair and and mean and just you know uh yeah anyways let's just leave that let's get to the breakdown we're gonna see what's gonna happen what else did we get going on in that episode oh aria <laughs> like that was a huge surprise sorry pardon me that was a huge surprise for everybody that uh, was watching with me aria's sudden uh promiscuity promiscuity or <laughs> you know she used the old like you can make that a meme like oh we're gonna die tomorrow so can't die a virgin type of you know type of thing so that was unexpected um yeah anyways let's get into this huge game of thrones nerd uh let's do it if you watch game of thrones you know the show has sorry for pausing again the show has frustrated me at times especially beginning probably in season five like season five was bad um season six kind of drew me back into it pardon me being a long time book reader me i'm sorry being a long time book reader the show had frustrated me uh, many times but i kind of had to come to the point and and just just say to myself well we have the show and we have the books and they're separate they're separate uh separate mediums of art and they're separate stories in and of themselves there's separate ways of of digesting of digesting a story and media totally different things uh, tv is miles and miles different than books books can do anything they want have as many characters as as epic of scenes uh books have no budgetary restraints and that's why i love reading so much especially george george r, r. martin's uh series it's absolutely incredible but at this point i just enjoy the show for what it has become and i'm gonna enjoy the books uh hopefully when we get the last two so here we go Grey Worm. The Night King is coming. <sighs> oh my God. So, like, right off the bat, we have them on the ramparts watching Davos, Baris, and Tyrion are down hiding with the women and children. We had that little exchange with Danny and Tyrion where she says... You know, you're not going to be of much value on the battlefield. And he says, I can fight, and I'm not going to stay down with the women and children. That's embarrassing. Uh, and she says, we need your mind. Your mind is what I value in you, not your fighting skill. The only reason you're alive, basically, is because of your mind. And if we survive, if we survive, I'm going to need your mind to navigate my way through this. So Tyrion, Varys, down below. I still think Varys is probably going to betray Danny at some point, but anyways... Jora Mormon, uh, he's back in the north to much to Ned Stark's probably rolling over in his grave right now that Jora is back in the north, that honorable bastard. Um, <laughs> the Night King is coming. 
So the plan, and this is what I'm interested about, who and what is Arya running from here in the crypts, it looks like to me. And that looked like Beric, and uh, it looked like the Beric and the Hound. The Hound, of course, has his dragon glass blade. And this looks like Danny dry, uh, riding Drogon. It's very quick, quickly clipped. Like, you almost... You can't even tell if anybody's riding uh, that dragon right there. Maybe it's maybe it's uh, Viser Viserion. The dead are already here. <laughs> and just goosebumps, goosebumps right there. Like the dead are already here. That's what the show's done, fantastically, is creating these epic moments of of exhilaration for the fans. And sure, like the spectacle is valued more than the storytelling at this point because we only have so much time and in an episode to tell tell this story. You only have so many episodes. We're in the very, very final stretch. There's only four episodes left. So um, Brienne, like that scene, come on now. I know a lot of people were very emotional at that scene, her finally being knighted. She really is the, she is the emblematic, you know, emblematic person of, of justice and honor and doing the right thing. That is sort of what Brienne stands for. And we finally got to see her smile. <laughs> uh, Gwendolyn Christie smiled. Yeah. Brienne of Tarth. Brienne of effing Tarth. Oh, that scream. Oh. Um, so the tension is palpable waiting for next sunday it's only monday right now damn it uh this is going to be a long a long four weeks leading up to the finale uh i watched it with a with a group of friends and uh, my girlfriend and when when we get to the finale it's just going to be sort of bittersweet that the show is ending and i hope we're wowed i hope there's some mind-blowing moments along the way uh game of thrones uh, the people that post on social media like oh they post memes like, uh, guess what? I have never watched Game of Thrones and I never plan to watch Game of Thrones. That's fine and all, but you don't really have to post it. You're just as bad as like, you know, you've become the very thing that you fought against. Anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you watch? Let me know down in the comments and we'll see you all very soon. Peace out. Peace, love, health, and happiness. Have a wonderful week, everybody. Later.